Good morning. So today I decided to use my good camera um, to record this video. I'm going to just do a really quick update on my orchids. This one I just finished um, the other day. I went through it and I cut off a bunch of roots off of it because they were all getting all nasty. And um, this is what it looks like now. Ooh. I, tried, I started transitioning some of my orchids over to glass vases, um, so you'll see a lot of those now. Um, some of my flowers are fading on the penny, um, penny candy, which makes me sad, but it's still glorious. Look at her. Stop focusing. Just stop. Focus. The pseudobulbs are still really shrivelly on this one. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Um, you know, when they're shrivelly, they're not getting enough water, but there's water in there, so I don't know um, what's going on. I think maybe I'm thinking about going through and cutting off all the roots on this one and um, just like putting the base of not cutting off every single root, but majority of the roots and make them really short and putting the base of that into the water and see what happens, but I don't know. This one, the Burgundian, which is my favorite one, it still smells beautiful. I haven't lost any flowers. Um, the last couple did finally bloom. I would love for it to put out more, but I don't think it's going to. The other flower spike is pretty short compared to this one, and the flowers are a little bit more sad looking than the other flower spike. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. If I would get the flowers into the frame, there you go, there you can see. But the bulbs on this one, they did shrivel like all the other insidiums, but they don't look anywhere near as bad. Um, you can see some of the roots are a little black, but this one's doing very well, keeping the water level down um, a little low. I had the water level up a little bit higher, and I feel like it made the pseudobulbs shrivel more. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I don't know what that means. Like when you're transitioning do the bulbs shrivel when you put too much water at the base but this one is the I believe it's called Carnival Rio this is my favorite one it's so beautiful look at that but this one um, the bulbs are shrivelly and some yellowing leaves and the bulbs themselves are a little yellow so I'm not really sure what's up with that either the bulbs were a little yellow when I got it so I don't know but the roots, I went through the roots and I got rid of a ton of roots before, but I know some of the, I know some of the roots on all my insidiums are a little dead, but, um, they're just going to stay the way that they are for now. Okay, moving on. Um, I'm going to do the cat layer, um, before I go through the, uh, rest of the fowls. So the cat layer, I have been, um, doing semi- water culture with um, I just put water in it yesterday and I don't see any new root tips just yet growing um, I've been mostly adding water to this every like maybe every three to four days and I'll let the water sit for like a day or two um, some days when it just looks dry, I'll just go in and I'll rinse it and that'll be that. But take a look at the new growth. It's developing two leaves and it is getting taller than the old growth or the, than, the, than the last um, most you know most recent growth so this one I do have high hopes for I think it's gonna be really good god I wish this would stop searching just focus focus okay the maxillaria tenifolia oh, this one 
is just wonderful. I don't have to worry about a single thing with this one. I don't have to worry about any setbacks at all. Take a look. It came with a really tiny new growth coming in right there. Focus. Let me move back a little bit. There we go. Came in with that little tiny little growth that was there already. Um, since it's come in, the roots are growing. Oh God, I got to put this against my arm. The roots are growing in and this one's getting longer. But yeah, this one looks really, really good. I don't have to, anything to worry about with this one. And I'm not sure if this is going to be a new flower or if it's a new growth. But I have something coming out right there. You see that? Right there. And I have um, a growth like that coming out in another place that I've seen so this one I definitely don't feel like I have to worry about at all all right moving on to the fowls the white fowl has lost most of her flowers she's just staring out the window <laughs> she likes the window <laughs> um she's in semi hydro too what I've been doing is just putting them in the water and um, letting them soak up everything until it dries out. Let it dry for a couple days and then I'll um, put it back in the water. I did pull off um, or rinse off because they fell off in the water because they were already dead. A lot of the roots and I do think I need to go through and just cut a bunch of roots like I did with the other one. But I'm not going to do that just yet because this one doesn't look anywhere near as bad as the other one. And um, the other one has some rot on the end, which is why, the main reason why I did that to that one. But the leaves look really good. Unlike the other one, they're nice and firm. You know, that one just, I'm, I'm, have, I'm fine with this one. Um, this one, I kind of taped the stakes in for... Uh, two of these but this one is doing amazing like if you look um, oh that hole is where they politely stab down one of the stakes at the store but the roots look really good I this one is one of the best ones and it's this beauty she's gorgeous the root flowers are gorgeous not one single bud blast or flower blast or nothing like this one is just it's she's perky she's staring out the window she's having a good time like this one is just perfect I don't have anything to worry about this one this is one of the ones from Home Depot that was in bark that one was in bark too but the roof looked good but as you can see it's not doing that great and I lost the flower spike um, because it was dried on the inside and just snapped right off after the flowers started looking really wilty this is another Home Depot one and this one again I don't have a single thing to worry about with her the roots look great um, and again I'm just sticking them in water or pouring water into the bottom of the pot and letting it dry and then you know after a couple of days I'll come in and um, add new water and I think I put the water about up to here so not a tiny bit but not a crap ton either um this is another one that I got from Home Depot planted in bark this one is looking beautiful as well I love this one god look at that Ugh. how can you not love this one it's amazing it's like a harlequin type and again, the roots on this one are perfect. The leaves on all these are perfect. There's just absolutely nothing that I have to worry about with the ones that I got from Home Depot. Nothing at all. Love them. Now, um, the ones that I got from Trader Joe's is another story. This one looks good, but the leaves look a little whatever, and they're a little dull. It has a new growth. Um, it came with a new growth. And the roots are, I had to like shove it down here because the neck kind of like goes in. But the roots are okay on this one. They're not completely horrible. 
and I think it'll do well over time. I can see some of the roots are dying off and I think I have the water level on this a little bit too high so I think I should probably rinse it and pour some of it out. It's getting a little cloudy as you can see so I'm going to do that now. The flowers still look good on this one. I don't think I'll have a lot to worry about on this one. Um, the bud did not blast. This one bud came with it and hopefully we'll get more later. You see that little root, that little tip right there? Hopefully that grows. We'll see. But yeah, the flowers are beautiful on this one. I love these flowers. That's the only reason why I got this one. Um, I'm definitely not buying any more from Trader Joe's but Oh, that's just gorgeous. I love that. Look at it. Beautiful. Mm. Oh, and by the way, this one here, again, is from Trader Joe's. And this one, this one, I think, was recently shipped to the store. So the drenched sphagnum moss that it was in, it wasn't drenched for very long. This one was definitely soaked in sphagnum like dripping wet sopping wet sphagnum moss for a really long time so uh this one is definitely in recovery mode like seriously look at the leaves on that that looks terrible horrible and then that one's turning yellow i already cut the other yellow one off um yeah it's taking it's going to be a while before it recovers all the way now let's move on to the mini fowls the mini fowls are actually doing very well even though they've all lost damn near every single one of their flowers this one is the first one that lost its flower spike and it's the one that had like purple in the middle with yellow around the outside and pink and it was so pretty um if you look i think that root right there was growing and i put um fertilizer in some of these so yeah but look 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 there's a little nub coming in right there can you see right here there's a little nub so there it's growing it's definitely growing um this one is recovering slowly but surely she's recovering so I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about this one at all I was really worried at first and as you can see there's a new leaf forming uh, the next one this one I don't remember what color I don't know this is the white one with the purple in the middle as you can see this one um I let it dry out um, someone knocked it over so there was no water in the bottom for like two days and look all the leaves went just like this really wilty and then there's that I don't know what's going on there um, and this leaf is dying off but we do have a new leaf growing in the roots look okay I think all the ones that were gonna die off have already died off this one looks healthy right here and this one looks really healthy right here so I definitely all the roots on here are still healthy um, it, yeah all the roots here are still healthy so I don't have to worry about with this one either I'm just gonna let it do its thing and make new leaves and make new growth and be happy let's look at the stem and see if there's anything like bulging out which I don't see anything at the moment so I think we're in the clear I think I might be giving it too much sun because I have it like right in the windowsill um, I have all the small ones directly in the windowsill so sometimes I think it might be getting too much sun but that's okay this is the all purple one this is the purple one it had like the little white in the middle um, the leaves are really leathery and floppy on this one as well all the flowers fell off of it and the roots are looking a little meh whatever I do have some tiny new uh, root nubs coming in um, but this one isn't really doing much at all so we'll see what happens with this one this one's probably in the worst shape specifically because there is no real new growth on it all the rest have some type of new growth now uh, let's take a look at the last one here 
we have first of all all the flowers fell off except for this one this one is like super happy she doesn't want to go anywhere and I don't think she is gonna go anywhere I think she's like so happy so happy to be here I'm happy you are here <laughs> but look there's a new leaf coming in and let's lift you up the roots on this one are great and look we have new growing tips and there's more there's another one right there can you nope nope can't see there you go can you see that right there in the middle oh focus focus right there can you see that oh, new growing tips that is just sheer and utter perfection that just makes me so happy so i know that this one the flower will probably last for a while i won't have to worry about this flower falling off for a while because look it, did, it doesn't look like it's done by far so it's going to be there for a long time and we have new growth we have new leaves yeah so that's that um there's one more thing i wanted to show right here on this bell there is something happening here. See that? It's kind of small, but there's something happening. Like, look at that compared to here. Focus, focus. Here compared to here. So this is probably going to give me a um, secondary spike. And... There's another one on this side. So I'm really excited about this one because this one is definitely producing. Like, this one is the healthiest one in the group right now. Well, aside from that one, <laughs> who's getting new roots. Um, I didn't see any new roots on any of the other ones. Um, but at the same time, I did fertilize um, all of the fowls, I put water, I put some, a tiny bit of fertilizer in um, water and I have been using that to soak them with. But I think I put too much the last time. I know they say don't do that until like a month or how many months into them being in water culture, culture so they can be acclimated to their new environment. But I've been fertilizing and um, the last time I added a more fertilizer than I had at previous times, so I do believe that I over fertilized and I burned some of the roots um, a little bit. So, yeah, I'm not really sure um, how to treat that, but I think it'll be fine. So, we'll see what happens. Um, these Uncidiums, I really hope that they recover and do well. Um, I think they just need to start developing new roots, and I think once they start developing new roots, they'll be fine. Um, but we'll see. The Catalea is a little wrinkly compared to when I first got it. Focus. Like, as you can, if you can see, the bulbs are um, a little, little wrinkly. Not a lot. So it's not really something that I'm going to worry about and go crazy over. And the roots, I did burn the roots on this one too, but they're doing well. This is, the water is like yellowy after being, um, after the roots being in them since yesterday. So I know that a lot of these roots are dying off. Hope that I get a flower out of this one this year because the pictures of the flower on the Buena Suerte are so magnificent magnificent and I'd really really love to have a flower on this one this year and see what happens I'd also love for this one to produce a crap ton more pseudobulbs so I could have a big huge bushy maxillary tenifolia plant but that's gonna be a long time in the making isn't it yes it is all right thank you so much for watching um oh and by the way I bought six more orchids I'm might it might be seven in a few days maybe if I decide to buy that other dendrobium but I got new and I got six more orchids they're not here yet they're coming in the mail and they are new varieties like different like not fowls um and not insidiums yeah 
Um, this will be very interesting to see how those go in my full water culture because I'm definitely going to keep everything in full water culture. Full water culture for me has been putting a certain amount of water in the base of the pot based on what kind of orchid it is and then letting it dry completely. And then after a few days when I feel like the flowers are starting to droop or it looks like it needs to be perked up a little bit, then I'll add more water. But yeah, that's been how I've been doing my full water culture. And so far, so good. The insidians, I haven't really been letting them dry out too much. I might have let them dry out once or twice here and there, but for the most part, they I don't really let them dry out too much. Um, this one, oh god, she's just off in the shadows, but this one just smells so amazing. I love this one, the Burgundian. Burgundian number two, Penny Candy, Carnival Rio. And it looks like you're at a carnival, doesn't it? And there's one more bud. Oopsie. One more bud right there that hasn't opened. And it looks like it may or may not be trying to put out a new one. We'll see what happens with this baby. I hope she doesn't deplete herself or anything. I hope she continues to grow and be happy. Yeah, there you go. My collection so far. Um, hopefully it will grow and continue to grow and be just wonderful. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.